The Bible reading program that I'm using takes me through the Old Testament once a year and the New Testament twice a year. And then I use a little method called SOAP, Scripture Observation, Application, and Prayer, to write some thoughts down and, and uh, to help me get into the Word on a more consistent basis. And my seed thought from today is taken from Luke's Gospel, chapter 15, verse 18, in the account of the prodigal son, the parable of the prodigal son. And in that parable, there is an important verse that I want us to think about today. It's verse 18 where it says, I will arise and go to my father and will say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you. That's, of course, the prodigal son speaking to his father after he has gone and spent all of his inheritance and all kinds of riotous living. So the account of the prodigal son is given to us in the context of Jesus talking about seeking and saving the lost. Now, it's interesting to me that the, the son acknowledged his sin first and foremost, that it's against heaven. I have sinned against heaven. And there he realizes that he has offended a holy God with his sinful lifestyle. Then he acknowledges that he's also sinned against his father. Later he will say, in your sight. The point is that he made things right before God and men. There were things that needed to be right with God and with man, and he took the necessary steps to make things right in both situations. And I, I think too often people don't return to make things right with men. We get right with God because we recognize our need, but sometimes we fail to realize there are situations and circumstances that we need to make right with our fellow men. And even after we've become Christians, there are times when offenses take place, when we hurt someone or someone hurts us and an offense has take place, and we carry that around with us. We have bitterness sometimes in our heart toward them for that offense. And the realization that we get from this passage of Scripture in the, in the parable of the prodigal son is that we need to make things right, not only before God, but also before our fellow man. So my encouragement to you today is, if there is something, an offense that has taken place in your heart and in your life and then someone has hurt you, you need to forgive them. Or if you have offended someone else, you need to ask forgiveness of them because that, that will uh, grow like a cancer. That bitterness inside of us can grow there and hinder our spiritual growth and cause all kinds of problems, choke out the good fruit that God wants to produce in our life. So I just want to encourage you today with this realization. If we confess our sin, we know that God is going to forgive us our sin. And if we go to our brother and say, I realize that I have offended you, would you please forgive me? It releases us then from the guilt and the shame that is associated with that. So I want to encourage you to do, if there, if there is something that needs to be taken care of, Take care of it, first of all, before the Lord, and then go to your brother or your sister and make things right with them. It takes a move of the Spirit of God in the heart of a person in order for that to take place. Give room, give opportunity for God to do that work in your heart and life. I just want to remind you once again uh, regarding our YouTube channel. would encourage you to subscribe to it. That doesn't mean you're going to get newsletters or appeals or anything like that. All it does is just give you a notification that there is a new upload that you can access. Uh, like us on Facebook. Give us a thumbs up. Uh, share what you have seen and heard with other people. Our goal is that the body of Christ would be edified, uh, that people would hear the word of God and be saved, and you can assist us in doing that in this way. So thank you in advance for doing that. May the Lord richly bless you today, I pray.